Hey guys, for today's video, I got a special treat for you. I'm going up against the famous Marshall Mind. In this video, I'm only going for the heel hook. The heel hook is a very uh, forbidden move in most schools. Um, we teach it in our school. We don't let all the students do it until they've reached a certain level. Um, of course, with someone like Henry, who's really good at jiu-jitsu, he's been training for over a year now. He's very tough, very strong as well. I don't tell him what I'm gonna do. I just try to do it from multiple positions. And like always, um, I don't, I don't really try to hurt my opponents or my students. So I'm gonna catch and release. Um, so in this video, I'll be setting up several positions where I can get the heel hook and then I let go because I don't wanna hurt my student, especially Henry. Um, Henry does bring the fire. He is obviously really good at wrestling, very strong base, and he can also deadlift over 400 pounds. So I do my best to be as technical as possible while also not compromising his knee. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this breakdown. Here we go. Starting off a wrestling match with Henry. He doesn't know what I'm going to do, so I kind of mess with him and act like I want to just wrestle. So I'm hand fighting. We're in a clinch position, two on one. Because I have control of his left hand, he can't really take a shot. Breaks the grip. Notice I fight for the inside control. He goes for a single. I kind of let him take it because I immediately I'm going to threat with a guillotine. So I start threatening with the guillotine here. He backs up and spins away. I smile because I baited him. Now he's getting inside position. Inside position means, he see where he has his hands placed on my bicep? He has the go-ahead to take a shot here. So again, I'm kind of baiting him to take another shot. Um, he doesn't fall for it. I'm posturing high, not really down blocking because I really want him to take a shot because I don't want to wrestle, but he doesn't know that. So I stay postured. He does a good job blocking. My tricep goes for um, arm drag and I'm able to wrap around his tricep. So he's not able to come around. So I go again for a uh, attempt on a guillotine and I finally pull guard. And so what I want to do here, he has no idea. I want to work um, inside position or outside position to it, either Senkaku or Ashigurami. That's really all I want. So I'm not really gonna go for anything else. I'll throw other feints. So we're in a pause position. I throw in a shallow lasso without a gi and I laugh because you don't typically do this without a gi, but I'm just kind of giving him some foot traffic. And he starts to go over with his shoulders down, hips high, he's doing a good job. Henry's improved so much, especially with his wrestling and his jujitsu base. So he has a solid foundation. It's been great to see his growth. So I really want to just set up these leg entanglements. Um, so he's using his leg to kind of pin my bottom leg down there in, in the half guard slash headquarters. He controls my wrist. He tries to move forward. I release my left leg, place it at his hip. I go back to reverse De La Hiva. I don't want to go underneath again because I really want that leg entanglement. He does a good job pushing me forward. He swims to his left. I bring my leg across, he immediately doesn't let me do it, which is doing, he's doing a great job. He comes back, goes to headquarters again. I go to uh, arm drag attempt. I control his wrists, I frame at his shoulders. I cup his elbow. Again, I put it in a shallow lasso just to create some sort of traffic. Um, he comes back, goes to the other side. He's doing a good job keeping that fireside right leg far away so I can't underhook it. Um, and I'm use I'm trying to get underneath. I go for a K guard. He sits on my on my forearm and it, it avoids me trying to go underneath. I immediately release. He um, switches his base and he starts using his hands to switch my feet in a different direction. He goes back to headquarters. I go back to a K guard attempt. He pushes down, does the right thing, but this attempt doesn't help break the grip. It just helps kind of avoid the sweep. So it avoids a sweep. But again, I want to just entangle the legs. That's all my goal. I go for a very small attempt on a shoulder crunch to kind of get him off balance. Not much happening there. So I release. Now I play the inside. He does a good job not letting me get comfortable with my feet to work the butterfly. He cups down, goes back to headquarters. Anytime he goes to headquarters, I try to come up, but he keeps pushing me down so I can't come up. So I'm trying to get my left leg 
outside in across, which is legal in brown belt and up, not legal for other students. I arm drag, he does a good job staying out. And then I lift and enter into the Senkaku. He does a good job sprawling and put pins my knee down, comes back, and then I go into a butterfly slash um, single leg X. Um, he's doing a good job hand fighting and staying very low because the minute he stands up, I'm gonna get that position. So I start to get that position. Um, he's holding on to my wrist. I don't really want to sweep here. I actually want to use it to just elevate him and get my leg into the heel hook position. But he's grabbing my wrist. And so I'm going to set up a simple Ashigurami um, outside heel hook. As I set that up, um, I, I, I let it go because I don't want to rip the knee. So I'm just trying to hold. Um, of course, he doesn't tap, which is fine because I don't want to I don't want to push that knee. So then I immediately release and just lock it up to kind of show the base and control of that movement. So let go. I want to get it again. I got it from Ashigurami to work that outside. Now I want to work it from the inside. So I'm going to try to set up a similar position. I go arm drag, to single, go back to Ashigurami because it's there. He's doing a good job grabbing the back of my head to keep me from off balancing him. So I'm going to use it. I'm Again, I'm trying to off balance just so I can get back to that Ashigurami heel hook position. My foot underneath his hip is really going to mess with him. So I sweep him because he gives me the sweep, which is fine because usually if you get swept, it's hard to get leg locked from that position. So then I spin over and go to the inside heel hook position by switching over to the Senkaku. I wrap up my triangle on the outside leg. Um, he spins the right way. He's doing the right thing. But again, I don't want to push on his knee here. So I'm going very slow um, just so I don't let him escape but i also don't let him uh i don't hurt his knee right so now i switch from the uh senkaku to a basic 50 50 i start playing the outside heel hook again i have it again i don't want to rip it i let it go i lock up i just lock it up to kind of hold it and to kind of play that position um, i use it to recompose my guard i use it for x guard and then um i set it up one more time outside heel hook and this time, Henry does tap because we want to make sure we take care of each other. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this. Henry's a beast. It was fun filming this. Um, until next time, guys, uh, I'll see you soon.